Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do just a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts it resonates, green hearts you're working on, a yellow heart you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. This is regular tarot. We're gonna see what comes out. Um, I can't appre I can't thank you guys. I was gonna say I can't appreciate you guys enough. But I can't thank you guys enough um, for, um, you know, commenting, for liking the videos. Um, there is something going on with the algorithm. And you know what? I'm not trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to do videos for people who are here to hear and listen or who can run into the video. So there you have it. Um, and anybody, everybody is welcome. But that is where we are. Um, yeah. So there is boundaries that has been set. You have went into a situation to where you're looking within. We have the King of Wands energy. King of Wands energy is somebody with um, that can see the bigger picture, that can overcome challenges. And we also have conflict here. We have the Seven of cup, Cups. So you have conflict um, and also you being defensive. It's not necessarily con conflict. It's the Five of Wands, but you being defensive. And when it comes to the Seven of Cups energy, you have options. You're working on yourself. But at the same time, Page of Pentacles energy is telling you not to give up, not just, you know, it says never stop worrying. If you think you know everything, you know nothing at all. I think that is with the Page of Pentacles energy. Let me see if I can find it. Page of Pentacles energy says, yeah, never stop worrying, uh, learning, not worrying, <laughs> never stop learning. Because if you think you know everything, you know nothing at all. So that energy of you learning and not thinking that you are know-it-all, you are basically able to be taught um, and unlearn to relearn. I'm going to pull from the emotions deck to see where you are or the mixed emotions deck to see where you are also when it comes to this energy. We have inadequate and we have overwhelmed. So you feel overwhelmed. There is a hateful energy that's around you um, because you have to set boundaries with people that you love and it says hostile vengeful and spiteful you know the people that you love that make you feel inadequate that feels like you're working overtime working overtime you know it's like you're worthless and incompetent ill-equipped because you have this little car it's like the little engine that could something like that you have this little car and you're pit pulling all of this baggage from everyone else and it's just like overwhelming because at some point you're carrying burdens this is the um this is feeling, you know, setting boundaries, but you're carrying the burdens because this energy is making you um, feel spiteful when it comes to having certain energies around you, if that makes sense. I'm going to pull from, hmm, I'll pull from the West of T-Deck. I'm not going to pull from um, the True Emotions Deck. I'm going to pull from the West of T-Deck to see what you've been dealing with because right now, setting boundaries, it, it makes you mad because it feels like you're becoming a prisoner in your own universe, in your own life. Because you have to stop talking to the people who you really love um, and you love them for who they are, their flaws and all. But at some point, you have to be able to make a decision to say, hey, you know, I can love them from a distance because basically right now what you need is clarity and you need to focus on yourself. The hermit energy is here, which again, like I say, the hermit energy is you soul searching, you trying to find a different way, but it also is just you know you having to pull your energy back and you know with the hermit being here it's just like you're unlearning to relearn again and that's the hardest thing that we can do as adults as a, an adult uh especially when it comes to family members and friends yeah bad reputations people with bad reputations that you knew deep down in in your heart that they didn't mean well or they you heard things about them but at the same time you turn around sorry that was loud at the same time, you turn around and give them the benefit of the doubt, even though they had this bad reputation, because you're like, they didn't do this to me. I can't take anybody else's word. But then time and time again, seven, eight years go by, and you realize that everything that this person, that someone told you about this person or what you saw basically was true, and it caused you to be hooked. See, this is where the bad reputation is. We like the bad boy, bad girl energies. And so you get hooked on this. Uh, energy the the um, toxic energy you get hooked on that and you know just like okay um yeah uh, you, okay so it says your light irritates their demons so 
this probably is the energies that you have to get away from. But hold on. What I was trying to say with this energy is that, you know, the bad, I'm not going to say bad karma. I'm just going to say the lessons that this person taught you in regards to everything that you kind of kept, you kept putting on the back burner. You kept putting all this energy on the back burner, knowing that you were pulling everybody, everybody's weight or a certain per person's weight. I need to um, put some lotion on my hands. I just use hand sanitizer. But you're pulling everyone's weight when it comes to dealing with, you know, their um, ego, their ego. And it's a conflict for you because you do that. You don't have you, you look at your options you have, but you're really not taking into consideration or taking the things that you know that you need to be doing. And then until you start working on yourself and really kind of seeing that you've been hooked to the toxic energies, you've been hooked to codependent energies, you've been feeling inadequate, you've been feeling overwhelmed, but you also been feeling hateful, spiteful, like somebody is taking your kindness for a weakness. And then the shine is here again, your, your light irritates their demons. So you are this happy go luck, lucky person. And let's just talk, start how I see it. You're this happy go lucky person who runs into this karmic type energy or this this um ego type energy and you just continue to roll with the punches. You go with the flow. You know, you hook to this person. You're like, maybe one day that sounds like somebody on Disney. Maybe one day, maybe one day they'll see the beauty in me. And that's just the fairy tale that we always give to ourselves when we come to seeing potential in people and looking at the future. You see the horse and carriage. You see all of these things that would make you like, okay, well, I'm going to be patient with this person knowing that they have a bad reputation of being toxic and just being, you know, all just whatever. But you're so mesmerized by this person that you won't really wake up until you um, start pulling something and um, pulling way more weight than anything and then you know they pounce on your heart and so that's just kind of why I say that and they like that because again they are fearful of who you are and how powerful they know that you are so when you start working on yourself and you start doing the work this hooked energy goes to the back burner and we're going to clarify the hermit energy but the hooked energy goes to the back burner and then you're just like oh well um yeah, I'll see you later, you know, because then you start to grow fond of the things that you're doing. Page of Wands energy. Page of Wands is you only live once. Excuse me. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. So the soul searching you're doing is like is you're learning not to hold on to the past. And that's, again, you're happy still, even though they're trying to make you miserable. And this could be just a person that you're dealing with or this could be this could be coworkers, this could be friends or whatever, but you're happy. They're they're upset because you're still happy no matter how many tasks they give you. So if this is at work, they give you, you know, it's four thirty and they and you know they know you get off at five thirty, six o'clock, they're gonna give you all of this work that is gonna pile up on your desk. But you're like it's okay, I'll get it done because that's just who you are in nature and you like tasks and you like to be put under pressure on certain instances. But when you actually really start to notice it, you become the girl on TikTok when she's like um, talking about uh, coworkers and managers, the difference of how they use you. They keep giving you everybody's excess work because they know that you're going to do it until you really kind of catch on. Like they're taking my kindness for a weakness and I'm not doing it. So even though you're sitting at your desk drinking coffee, you know, you're not, you're, you, they're like, are you busy? Oh, yeah, I am. What's up? And, oh, I thought you were almost finished. You've been so fast at finishing things. And that was a girl on TikTok. But then we have the King of Wands energy. You be, you're able to see the bigger picture. So at some point, you're not upset with this person. You just know that you have to move on and do what makes your heart happy. Lover's energy card, a Gemini, Pink, uh, King of Pentacles energy. You know, you have to be able to take risks. There's no rewards without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles lets you know that you can't get the results without first doing the work, show up, keep pushing every day. Wait, I said that wrong. It says you can't get the results without first doing the work, show up, work hard, and keep pushing every day. So this is why you have a, um, you have, um, you know, the ability to see the bigger picture and to overcome all the challenges that, you know, a person, place, thing, or situation can give you because at the end of the day, you wouldn't be doing it if it didn't make you happy. And when it comes to the conflicts here, which is the seven of uh, wands energy, when it comes to the conflicts, you have to know, this card tried to come out, so I'll take that, but you had to know that, you know what, I can't let anything stop me because when you start to look at it 
in a different perspective and you start to feel some type of way, you either take it personally or you really just sit up there and watch all the options that you have. Seven of Cups energy, this card fell out. Seven of Cups, I, I, I was trying to pull it out like this. Seven of Cups energy, yeah, exactly. Seven of Cups energy, you watch it, you know, here. You watch the Seven of Cups energy, like all the options that you could have, but you don't do it. And so with the Five of Wands energy, excuse me, the Seven of Wands energy, you have the Queen of Pentacles energy. And so the Queen of Pentacles, of course, excuse me, the Queen of Cups energy. This is the swords and why am I saying pentacles? But anyway, the Queen of Cups energy is a nurturer, a loving person, somebody who's very compassionate, who's always calm. But when you get on edge and you start to feel some type of way, you start to feel insecure about certain situations. You start looking and reflecting and feel a de defensive over certain things. And then you turn around and it's just like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go on rogue on these people and because it's starting to break my heart three of swords energy does that make sense and so then we have the seven of cups energy and with the seven of cups you just have to realize that you start to these energies start to make you stagnant when you start to take it personally with what it is that they're doing you start to become stagnant you start to uh, feel some type of way and then you start to really look at the time that has went past and, and then you get in your knight of swords energy be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination, and that is the Knight of Swords energy. You're you're not going to let anything stop you. That's why you pull pull back your energy, hermit energy, soul searching. You pull back your energy, and you start working on yourself, and everybody is like, where's cancer? Because cancer, you know, would normally be right here with us and um, laughing and this and that, and then all of a sudden they're going to turn around and be like, um, Cancer is acting funny and it's like no I just saw a certain thing that I don't want to be a part of and that's a part of you understanding with the Queen of Cups being you know um, unsure is because you start to look at everything and you start to really feel and um, that's the hard part and that is when it comes to you know uh, our qualities I feel. I feel you're a healer, you're emotional, you're, you're a homemaker, you're a lover, you're a mother, all those things, mother, father, with heavy male, uh, female, uh, feminine, not fem female, feminine energy in your chart. And you start to really start, you start to really look back and say, you know what? I think I need to start working on myself because again, they're, they're playing with me. I can be anywhere else and people will appreciate me, but here nobody appreciates appreciates me and then that's when you grow sun energy you know the sun energy comes and it's just like okay well now what do I do I'm enjoying life I'm enjoying life and I'm showing up to do the work page of Pentacles energy I'm doing the work and yeah ten of swords I'm doing the work because of the fact that I felt backstabbed I felt betrayed I felt um, unworthy I felt all of these different emotions I felt like I was starting to hate my my job my situation my home my life I started to hate things but that's not me then I felt what it really was is that the people with the bad reputations the new the people that you either dealt with at work or you dealt with in a home work in a home life um the people that tried to warn you told you that this person was spiteful hateful and that they were messy and all these other things but again we give people a chance to uh, burn us and I always tell you nine times out of ten if I cut you off you handed me the scissors and so they don't like to see you shine through all adversity and this is where the four cups energy you have to reach this plateau in order to get to this point you have to really start feeling some type of way and really start to question why you're feeling this way in order for you to move forward and so sometimes it's easier said than done but sometimes it's not so I'm going to pull from the twin flame soulmate and karmic debt uh, deck I was going to say debt, debt, like debt, um, like maybe you're in debt. So I'll pull from the finance uh, um, deck because if you are in debt, debt, I don't know how to say it, debt, debt, if you are in debt, it's because you've given your all to a person that had, doesn't mind when your water runs dry. Bottom of the deck is false hope. Yep, to a person that probably gave you false hope. It says a false twin will lead you on 
lead you on and tell you that uh, they feel the same way about you only for you to discover later on that this isn't the case so that's kind of how I see that energy the card that came out is over romanticized this is potential potential will have you fucked up every time sometimes our idea of love is far from reality and as a result we end up over romanticizing relationships take the time to reevaluate your reevaluate your views and that is what you're doing you know the potential has you really looking at things but it's okay because now you don't know you no longer are overwhelmed and inadequate you're actually in the situation to where you're learning and you're growing but these are where the boundaries come in at and this is where you learn the difference from the boundaries and you know from dealing with just certain situations so i'm gonna pull from the yin and yang deck to see what comes out but yeah again you are you know basically doing what you need to do now and so now when people talk they're going to be like oh cancer's acting funny but it's like no cancer's setting boundaries Can cancer is not letting you walk walk over me anymore um the card comes out is limitations and fears rejection lost and fragmented and then karma balance and justice so yeah cancer's receiving justice because you were rejected you were lost and you were fragmented when it came to this energy because you didn't understand and you had to face your fears because this was limiting you so the potential had you get back on your um horse and start riding if that makes sense and so i'm going to pull from the finance deck mm, to see what comes out of it just to see because you are manifesting things you are having your cake and eating it too but that's all behind you setting the boundaries that you need uh in life okay three cards came out these ones came out over here so it says halt yep exactly and then it says the artist it says focus on finding the the, the beauty in your day-to-day -day life it says the artist can be a photographer painter film graphic artist or web designer if you can't make the make a living with your art full-time start part-time get started just get started it says so the balance is coming to you because remember the potential has you where you're questioning things we have comfort we have options and we have halt so the comfort it says uh, your finances are in a state of balance so that's a good thing though you're not exactly rich you will be living comfortably it says you you're you're entering the most comfortable period of your life and that's what a little determination a little um focus and also um a lot of boundaries will get you to options is here it says many opportunities are becoming available to you now or flooded to you uh or flooded by too many ideas do not get stuck in doubt when an offer presents itself seize the moment so this is when that comfort will will go and get back in hermit mode so we gotta know page of wands history right page of wands is yesterday's history tomorrow's a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment present moment if you're getting offers right now do not go back into hermit mode because you're afraid to face something that you you know you give to everybody else you know opportunities so don't be afraid to face your fears and just take a leap and accept the opportunities that are coming to you and then it says halt money has come to a complete halt or money is slow in coming in i think this is where you were in the beginning do uh, it says don't borrow more than you can repay debt might be piling up and so that is where you were looking at things because you had to get a hold on things it says the past charity and unreliable this right here is why you've learned to halt and to take the other options because in the past and I know you probably want me to read this, so I will. The charity in the past, the way that you gave, Six of Pentacles energy, right? The way that you gave, being the Queen of Cups unsure, the un to the unreliable people had to come to a halt. And that's so that you can have options and live a comfortable life. So you can have options and live a comfortable life. So these cards came out the way that they were. Uh, they needed to. It says something from your past is coming back, perhaps an old job or unfinished project. Look to the past to understand the future, a lesson, or, uh, excuse me, excuse me, I'll read that over. Look to the past to understand the future, because remember, the past causes fear, but it also teaches you lessons. The future causes anxiety, but it says to understand the future. 
a lesson or experience or an old skill. So you're going to learn from what you, the things that you picked up from the past, you're going to learn. It says you could be earning and receiving money from something you did in the past. So again, you have, you are creative. You have several options. You have things that you're looking at and you're like, no, no, no. But the universe is saying, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single minded determination. And then we have charity. See where you can give more of your yourself to help others and make a difference. Humanitarian work, human, human uh, rights, justice, it says, or advocacy work could be right for you. Donating can help, can create positive energy around you and attract more abundance. This is the type of giving that you should give to people um, uh, that actually will appreciate and deserve your energy and not to people who are unreliable. It says, and they have their fingers crossed in the back. It says, there is some confusion regarding money. People are not following through on their promises or not paying on time. Expected money may not materialize. So this is where you had to halt giving to unreliable people. So uh, potential in unreliable people is what I'll name this. I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. And then I'll pull from the four agreements. And uh, if you want to know my perspective of it, I'll put it on the links above. So it says, be impeccable with your words. It says, become a white magician. Become a white magician. You have the power of your word. All the, ba all the magic you possess is based on your word. And you can cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone with a spell and so I think you're doing a lot of releasing and that's a part of the boundaries because see what happens is that when it comes to this energy here I'll pull one card this card the shine excuse me your light irritates their demons this person place thing or these situations do not want you to flourish so you can spew the negativity or let them spew the negativity or you can release someone from a spell the people that you know are unreliable and that don't mean uh, well for your life that doesn't mean okay I hate this person no sin strength and healing period but you got to go and that's where the hateful energy comes in at so the Amazonite is here and it's the heart and the throat chakra expression inspiration and balance it says my senses are in tune with my surroundings my senses are in tune with my surroundings and that is where you are unreliable potential and that is where you are all right you guys let's let this old energy go and now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys